inequalities on the same graph. So we don't need to go through any solving in this case. All we're simply going to do is graph the compound, uh, graph both inequalities on the number line. So we want to make sure our number line is going to incorporate both of our solution points. So I'm actually going to have 0 in the center this time. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5. OK. So at each point, we're going to create a circle. So I have x is greater than 3. And then I have x is less than or equal to negative 1. All right. Um, so in this case, if I have x is greater than 3, um, all the values that are greater than 3 are going to be values to the right. So you're going to go ahead and shade. If I have x is less than or equal to negative 1, we're going to shade that in, because it is included, right? It's less than or equal to. And that's going to be all values going to the left. That's it. Now, so when you guys see an or, all I want you guys to understand is that's going